This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1574. Five Common Diet Mistakes Sabotaging Your Progress by Eric Bach of bachperformance.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Hey there, welcome to another episode of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from the best health and fitness blogs on the web, kind of like an ongoing audiobook. But here, I always provide a bit of my commentary at the end. Oh, and don't forget, I answer your questions right here on the show every Friday. So if there's a question that you've been meaning to ask and it relates to nutrition, stress management, fitness, you name it, if it's health-related, send me a question. You can email your question directly to health at oldpodcast.com. All right, and after that little plug, let's finally get to another post and continue optimizing your life. Five Common Diet Mistakes Sabotaging Your Progress by Eric Bach of bachperformance.com The most frustrating thing in the world is feeling like you're doing everything right only to see the number on the scale taunting you every morning. Or to put on your favorite slacks and realize it's going to take the jaws of life to peel them off your legs. Here are five diet mistakes you need to avoid if you want to get and stay lean. One not drinking enough water. Aim to drink at least half your body weight in ounces of water each day. So say you're 200 pounds. That would mean you need to drink 100 ounces. This increases 50% or more on days you work out or hot and humid weather. Poor hydration impacts everything from cognitive function to energy levels to workout performance and hunger cravings. Put another way, if you want to be mentally sharp, have more energy, crush your workouts, and avoid cravings, then drink more water. Two, snacks, swipes, and handfuls. How often have you walked by the pantry and grabbed a finger full of peanut butter? I'm guilty of doing that. These gobs of peanut butter come at a price of about 200 calories. For reference, the gobs of peanut butter have about as many calories as a typical four ounce serving of grilled chicken. Whether your go-to is a handful of nuts, peanut butter, or candy, Even 100 to 200 calorie or more snacks add up. Done daily, 1 to 200 calories can mean gaining a pound or preventing the loss of a pound each month. 3. Out of control oils, sauces, and condiments. When new clients fill out a dietary recall, the number one comment I always hear is, Holy c, I had no idea how many calories I was eating just from cooking oils and salad dressings. If you eyeball olive oil, butter, and salad dressings, you can easily sneak 400 to 500 calories into your diet each day. That's enough to gain about a pound a week. Start measuring how much oil, sauce, dressing, etc. you're using and stick to the appropriate serving sizes. Use calorie-free cooking spray, quality non-stick cast iron pans, and lower calorie condiments. Four, unplanned meals. Most people fall off the diet wagon when they don't have time to make a healthy decision and are not prepared. The solution is to always prepare. Here's what I recommend if you're racing the clock and struggling to make good nutrition choices. Use intermittent fasting. By planning in large chunks of time where you don't eat, you'll be able to have more flexibility when you do eat. If you entertain clients, eat at a ton of restaurants, or prefer bigger meals, you may want to consider intermittent fasting automate meals. The fewer decisions you need to make about food, the better. Pick two to three go-to meals and cycle through them. You no longer have to think about making a perfect choice. You stick to the plan. If you have a restaurant you frequent for lunch, find a healthy option and stick with it from here on out. Exciting? No. Effective? Yes. And that's the goal. Use meal delivery services. Meal delivery services make it easy to make healthy, quick decisions with your diet. Some of my clients use local meal delivery to get healthy, tasty meals delivered each week. Five, alcohol. Look, I like a quality drink just as much as the next person, but the most straightforward way for many people to lose fat is to cut out alcohol for a few weeks. Alcohol loosens inhibitions. Now, this can be helpful if you have the personality of a blade of grass but not so great if it means you order meat lover's pizza after you kick back a few brews. 
When alcohol is in your system, your ability to burn body fat screeches to a halt. Every hour alcohol is in your system, your body isn't burning through much body fat. You'll store more food calories as fat when alcohol is present. Using the mechanism I just mentioned, the food you eat, like the junk kind, is more likely to be stored as body fat. Alcohol prevents restful sleep. Poor sleep compromises optimal testosterone and growth hormone function and increases cortisol, your primary stress hormone. Common reasons for folks to relapse are stress and poor planning. Alcohol can be the domino that starts the diet downfall. Hangovers kill workout quality and motivation the next day. Having a fun night is one thing, but if it impacts another day, it's killing your progress. Losing fat and looking great naked isn't about an ultra-strict diet or not having a social life. It comes down to avoiding most of the big mistakes and making good decisions most of the time. Your success with transforming your body comes down to adjusting your lifestyle and making healthier choices. That seldom works if you eliminate all the things you enjoy. You just listened to the post titled, Five Common Diet Mistakes Sabotaging Your Progress by Eric Bach of bachperformance.com. Working on your own self-improvement? That can be tough. Putting in the work to hire the next great candidate for your business? It's easier than you think, especially with Indeed. Indeed is a hiring partner that gets you what you really want, a short list of quality candidates as fast as possible. Because you can do it all. Attract, interview, and hire, all at Indeed. Don't struggle on your own to find quality candidates. Indeed can help you hire the right people right now. Indeed partners with you on every step of the hiring process, so you can find talent with the skills you need through tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. So get started right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed dot com slash health. Get a $75 credit at indeed.com slash health. Indeed.com slash health. Offer valid through December 31st. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Earlier this week, I was talking about how I was a lifestyle educator for one of the largest HMOs in the nation. When I was helping people manage their body weight, one of my favorite quotes that I would share with them was, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I think that comes from Weight Watchers. But either way, it emphasizes the importance of planning. Almost every single week, on Sunday, I plan my meals for the following week. Now, I may not plan every single meal or have a plan for every single day, but I at least, at a minimum, have a plan for Monday through Friday as far as dinner is concerned. I may not plan breakfast, but my breakfasts are usually the same anyways. I may not plan a lunch. Well, that's usually because I have leftovers from the dinner from the night before. If I can at least plan my dinners, I know exactly what I'll need to do as far as grocery shopping over the weekend. I won't have to question and think about on my way home from work what I'm gonna be eating tonight And usually when I plan a meal, it's gonna be balanced. I'm gonna have a lean protein, a vegetable, and a carbohydrate, usually a whole grain carb, and boom, I'm set. One of the things I dread the most is not having a plan. When I'm driving home from work, sitting in traffic, the last thing I wanna worry about is, what am I gonna eat tonight? Instead, I love knowing exactly what I'm gonna eat and knowing that it's gonna be balanced and good for me. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Friday Q&A and where your optimal life awaits.